is Emma. Welcome back to my studio on a beautiful autumn day here in the UK. I hope you're all keeping well. There's a lot of turbulence going on in the world outside at the moment, so I'm very grateful just to be right here in my lovely studio playing with some fabrics this afternoon. I promised you an embellishing video and that's what we're going to have this afternoon. I'm going to lay out all the fabrics um, that I was showing you last week and if you've missed that video that doesn't matter. I'm going to show you some more laying out as it were today. Uh, I've got plenty of fabrics. I've got this lovely collection of sort of autumnal colours going on with purples and oranges and browns and it's just really lovely soft, soft fabrics and I'm just really delighted to have you here. I'm going to have a nice creative time this afternoon. So I've laid out all my fabrics roughly where I want them just to get my base layers down and I'm just going to show you my little trick with the um, frame that I have here. Uh, I keep one of these handy because they're really really useful to have and you can see then um, roughly what the colour is going to be doing. It's not perfect but it just frames things in a bit so you can see roughly where things are going to go and what colours are going to happen. Obviously when I've done some, I've done a bit of free embellishing over here on a scrap, I've put down some of the fabrics that I thought I might like to use so that I can see what effect the embellisher has had on them. Um, it's scrunched up this turquoisey shiny piece a little bit, it's made it a bit darker, Oops. Um, which I quite like. And the purpley piece, it's kind of just attached it quite nicely without taking too much of the shine off it. So I'm just going to work with these now, get them under my embellisher. Probably what I will do is I will work from, I will probably take these bottom ones off and get these top ones embellished on. And then I'm going to add the other bits on as I go down. And then I can start to add in, you know, more details using, whoops, <laughs> using everything falling over, using whatever else I want to put in the foreground to try and make it look, you know, as so though it's a whole complete landscape. So I'm going to go and have some fun now with my embellisher and I'll try and show you what I get up to with that. Okay, so this is my embellisher setup. It's got the 12 sharp needles inside this casing here. I've lowered my, it's got a presser foot on just like it has on a normal sewing machine, but you don't have it so close to the fabric that you can't move the fabric. You just put it down as far as it'll go. Mine has one that alters. I don't think they all do that, but that's okay. You have whatever you've got. And I'm gonna, I've pinned these fabrics on so that I can actually flip these. Can I just show you this? Can I show you this? Yes. I've pinned them on so that I can flip them back and get embellished underneath um, like the top edge of each piece so the purple fabric I've got so I can flip it back but I know where they're going to go that's the important bit so I'll just take that pin out of there there we go so I'm just going to get embellishing you can see I don't know if I can turn that over just put my needle you must always put your needles to the top when you take your fabrics out, you can see there what that's doing is pushing the top fabric, the purpley fabric, through the bottom fabric, and that's what's holding it in place. That's needle felting it, it's meshing it together. And this is just holding it in place for me. Obviously, you've got 12 needles going into that fabric, so it's going to change what the fabric looks like. So you have to be aware of that, which is why I do a little sample so I can see exactly what it's going to do. So I'm just coming down here to get behind the next layer of the mountains. And we go flip that back a bit. I'm not too worried about this one. All it's doing really with this one is holding it in place. There we go, we'll flip the turquoisey colour back up there now and we'll do the same again. Now you can see this is going to pull the fabric in a bit. There we go, so I'm hoping I've got enough at the side. You can also hear the machine's making a bit of a different noise there, so I'm just going carefully because it's obviously quite thick. And what I could have done is if I wanted to, I could have just pinned that on and not embellished it if I'd wanted to. But I thought I would just give it a nice textural surface rather than a shiny one. It's making a bit more of a noise because it's going through two layers of fabric here. This is 
why it's really important if you're going to do embellishing, you must make a, a little sample so you see how the fabrics are going to react and how much they're going to shrink when you actually use the embellisher and uh, that's quite important. And cut your pieces bigger accordingly. Okay. okay, so I'll, I'll carry on with those, finish those off and then I'll get the next bits in place as well. Okay, so I've pinned the next sets of fabrics on and I'm just going to very carefully embellish these on now and um, you know I'm very lucky this machine was an expensive model but it gives me the facility to raise this up or down so because I've got quite thick fabric under here although I know it's going to be quite soft I've lifted up this foot here um, it's something to be aware of when you're looking at a machine is exactly what facilities you're going to get with that machine I think possibly the more you pay the more you'll get like most most things so you know it just depends what you're going to be doing okay so just be aware so we'll just I don't want to embellish this down too heavily I just kind of want it held in place and please be very careful with your pins get your pins out before those needles get anywhere near them The trick with embellishing really is to do as much or as little as you think you want to to get the effect that you want. So some fabrics you'll embellish a lot, some like this I'm trying to leave it so it's not making it all totally flat. It's keeping some of the texture of this lovely felted piece of fabric. There we go, over at the edge there. And we'll just go back over here, make sure my needles are up. I could hear them catching there a little bit. Right, we'll do the next bit. That's got a nice twiddly bit there that needs to come out of the way. What I really love about this machine is that it just holds things in place for you so that when I come to do some free machining into this, it's all held in place for me. And then I can just add in the machining that I want to. It makes life more fun, I have to say. And just, you get lovely textures. It's really convenient. Okay, so I'll just get these last couple of bits embellished down. Oh, just mind that pin. So again, I'm just doing this quite lightly because I don't particularly want it changed. I just want it held in place and that'll be enough to hold it in place. Let's come down here. I'll take those pins out again. in there. Because I've chosen fairly soft fabrics, nothing's too hard, especially when you're layering things up. You've just got to be aware that you're not asking too much of your machine, because you will break needles if you, if you try and do it too, too roughly and you don't listen to your machine. I have to say, I spent an afternoon breaking needles one day when I first got it, because I wasn't really listening to it. The needles do still break occasionally but um, I'm, I'm much better at listening to my machine these days. Okay so we'll go and have a little look at that and see what else we want to add on to it. It's looking very good. It's looking great. I lo don't you love the colours under here? This is just, it's sort of, what time is it? It's about half past two so the light is going outside and um, I've just got the light on on the embellisher here. But I rather like it. It's making that orange absolutely glow against the purple, isn't it? Mmm, tasty. So we're all set to go again. I've added my textures on. And this is this is the fun bit, really. 
because I'm just adding more little bits and pieces on. Tucking them, see you can always pull off, if you've embellished it down, which I have here, I can pull that back because it's only tacked down really. And then I can be adding this on on top, like that. Just take my pins out. It's such a beautiful machine. I know I've gone about it, but it's really enabled me to do so many more fun things with my fabrics. Just about on the edge there. And I'll just tack that back down again a bit. And then I decided that I would use a bit of this lovely Linton tweed here. Just a little edge of it, just a little hint, because I adore the colour. And I just thought it gives like a sharp edge, as though you've got an edge of trees coming up behind the uh, line of the hill. So again, putting that in place for me. And just lift that up. Make sure you get your needles right up, because you'll hear them scraping otherwise. Just try and put this back down again. Get everything in place, it should be. Because I'm using really pretty soft wool fabrics, it's really quite easy to do. It's uh, it's very forgiving because it's soft. They've got a, there's a lot of sort of um, I don't know what the word is yield to them. So again, a bit more of this lovely shruggy fabric. Let's take my pin out there. Oops. Like something a bit lumpy, but I think we've got away with it. Just pulling this over here. Oh, I think I'm going to pull that bit too far, actually. I'm just going to pull that out a little bit and just give it a little bit of not quite such a pulled edge. I want it to have a curvy edge. And then I've got a little bit of overlap here. And again, I don't have, you, see, you don't have to embellish the whole thing down. You can actually leave, I think there's a pin there. We'll just get that pin out. There we go. You don't have to embellish it all completely in place. You can leave little edges sticking up like that, you see, and little edges like that sticking up. But that's gonna hold that in place until I stitch it. Now over here is some of my woolly stuff. I've got a couple of yarns here. I've put them under a piece of mesh. This is just a piece of, what would you call it? Um, dress, dress netting. And I'm not, again, I'm not embellishing this very hard. I just want it held in place. And using this piece of net just enables me to embellish that without getting all the loopy bits caught around here. Okay, so just, so you can see I've left it quite free, but it's, it's held in place. You can't really see it on that side, but it's held in place just enough. And the other piece I've got is some of this lovely, I just adore this stuff, it's just gorgeous. So I'm just gonna just try and embellish a little bit of this down. I don't know whether it's gonna work, we'll give it a go. Just want it held in place quite lightly to allow all the straggly bits to um, just sort of hang loose. I wanted to hang loose. So I think that's looking about right for me. I will show you it, what it looks like. And I think the colors are just fantastic. I feel very, very happy with that. And I'll show you it properly and the camera in a second. Okay, so this is the piece now, how it looks after it's been embellished. And you can see that everything, I'm just going to turn it over actually, there you go. You can see how everything's been held in place. Some of it I've actually got no embellishing going on at all because I didn't want to embellish it all completely firmly fixed because that changes the surface and I'm going to then add stitching into it. None of it will fall off, okay? This is not something you're going to be wearing. Uh, it's not going to fall off and I'm just going to use that as a way of holding it in place until I get stitching. I've added some extra textural bits onto here. And as I said before, if you don't like what you've done, 
you can just pull it off. You could take the whole strip off. If you really don't like it, you can just take it off. I think that's gone a bit AWOL there, so I might just have to just redo that a little bit, okay. Um, these have come on here quite nicely, so I've got a bit of foreground interest, and I love how these gorgeous purpley colours are coming down into the foreground. The colours are just magical, honestly, the oranges and the purples and the turquoises. And that's just really made from all my scraps in my, you know, my scrappy bits of fabric. Nothing expensive, all my bits and bobs that I've bought from charity shops down the years. I can't tell you how, how wonderful it is <laughs> to just to be able to go and buy, pick up a box and I've got all these fabrics. So you, if you haven't got a stash yet, you know, you can start. And don't, don't blame me if it gets out of hand, all right? <laughs> I'm not buying any this year, I have to say. I'm just using up what I've got. That's my challenge this year. So when I put the frame on, and what I quite like about the frame is what I'm intending, I think, is I'd like some of this to actually kind of come out of the frame a bit. So there's a real textural quality to it, so it's not all just flat down. For me, texture is, is so important. Um, along with the colour of it. So I think that's really ready now for stitching and that's going to be the next part of my process. Hmm. Okay, so that's all for this afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed watching how I've put a landscape together. I hope you've enjoyed watching the embellishing machine in action. It's such a cool machine. I know not everybody wants one, but it really helps me hugely in everything that I do. It makes me much more creative, I think, because I look at it and I think, well, what can I do with this piece of fabric? Um, for those of you who are interested, I've got an article coming out in Be Creative magazine very soon, which I will tell you about. I've also got an online workshop, which I promised I would tell you about this. It's almost ready. I've been filming it and I've got to edit it and I've got to get it up online. There's a lot of stuff to work out. <laughs> It's quite a challenge, but I just love the fact that I'm connecting more and more with people all around the world. It's just wonderful and people are buying embellishing machines and going out and having fun and getting creative. And I think, you know, given everything that's going on in the world at the moment, I think if we can stay safe and stay well and, and stay sane by just playing with some fabrics, I think that's a really cool thing. I'm very, I'm very delighted to be here and I'm delighted to be here with you. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week and we will get some free machine embroidery going. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that.